My name is Lana Silberberg. I'm 73 years old. I live in Toms River, New Jersey. I was diagnosed with ALS in November of 2016. Lana's uh, first interaction actually was with me in my private practice. She was sent to me by a physician for uh, what they thought had been a pinched nerve in her leg. She was evaluated and uh, underwent a thorough diagnostic tests uh, and it became apparent that the weakness was not just in one leg, uh, but it had involved other parts of her body as well. Now, um, I, I have to think about the logistics of doing everything. I feel bad for my, my kids because they're not used to seeing me this way. I have to let them lead the way, let them do most of the work when they come. I first heard about the clinic at Jersey Shore um, through Dr. Sedaros. I had no idea that there was even such a thing that existed. I was very impressed with everyone and, and everything that went on at the clinic. Typically an ALS um, patient uh, attending the clinic will be evaluated by a number of disciplines. Physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech and language pathology, a registered dietitian, of course our registered nurse and clinic coordinator. They also get to see uh, the physician, uh, myself, during the, uh, every single visit. It's been so, so very helpful, and they've made it so easy. Lana is a remarkable person. She is uh, uh, full of uh, life, but also uh, never gives up. It took me a while to um, come to terms with ALS, with that diagnosis. Even though I have ALS, this is not going to define me. I am still going strong. I'm going to go out and have a good time and live my life and do what I can do. I may have to live it differently, but I'll do the best I can. I feel good. I feel happy. But it's very hard for me to relinquish that caregiving attitude and know that I now need the care. My husband Neil and I have been married for 50 years. He's been my best friend, and all of a sudden, he's got the job of being the caregiver. He has been very helpful. He's stepped up to the plate. He's uh, been my rock, and I don't know what I'd do without him.